Trans, the Warwolf. According to Anglo-Irish ghost hunter Elliot O'Donnell, the many ways of becoming a werewolf include A. By eating a wolf's brains B. By drinking water out of a wolf's footprint or C. By drinking out of a stream from which three or more wolves have been seen to drink. To this end, he cites the following story told by a Dr. Bonner. Ten years ago, Bonner said, I was on a geological expedition in Montenegro. My usual guide, Nero, had been disabled by an accident, so I chose a man called Kranz. Nero warned me against him. Kranz has the evil eye, he said. He will bring misfortune on you. Choose, choose someone else. Now Kranz was tall and lean, pockmarked, with sandy hair and eyes that had a peculiar cast. But he was civil in manner and moderate in his terms. Nero almost wept as he watched us go. I shall never see you again, he said. Never. We spent the first night in a wayside inn, and as our road was blocked by a landslide, Kranz suggested we take another road, which, though wild and rough, was shorter. I agreed. I had no reason to suspect Kranz of any sinister motive. But, but, I could not help but notice a change in his character. He was restless, muttered to himself, and kept talking talking about the supernatural. The country was certainly forbidding. All day we journeyed down a narrow and precipitous trail. At the bottom we halted three or four hours to wait for the moon. A northeast wind, cold and biting, came whistling over the hill and was sucked down into the hollow where we sat on the chilly stones. The moment we sighted the slightly depressed orb of the moon, an extraordinary scene burst upon us. There, glittering in the moonlight, was a huge pile of white rocks looking like the fortifications of some vast, fabulous city. There were towers and pyramids, crescents and domes and dizzy pinnacles, all in the unearthly light of the moon. It was through a cleft in these rocks that Kranz said we must go. It is called the Haunted Valley, and said to be under the spell of the Grey Spirits. The Grey Spirits, a species of phantasm, half man and half animal, which could turn humans into wild beasts. Horses, he said, showed the greatest reluctance to enter the valley. Sure proof the place was haunted. I must say, it looked haunted. The path by which we descended was almost perpendicular and filled with shadows. On reaching the bottom, we found ourselves opposite the pile of white rocks, at the base of which roared a stream. Kranz now said our best plan was to halt for the night, but I said that I preferred to push on. Kranz then said he was too exhausted to proceed, too exhausted to proceed, and whined to such an extent that I finally gave in, and lying down under the cover of a boulder, I did fall asleep. Waking up... Waking up, Kranz was nowhere to be seen. His odd behavior had at last made me frightened. Was the valley really haunted? The moonlight rendered every object I looked upon so vivid. 
and and the water in the moonlight the water presented every variety of green and blue but made no sound it was completely silent summoning my courage i dipped my fingers in the stream it was quite cold and limpid i was still puzzling over this phenomena when i heard a cry a, a weird ominous cry human and yet animal for a few seconds i was too frightened to move but at last i stepped cautiously in the direction of the noise treading as lightly as i could and then i froze kneeling beside the stream with its back turned to me was an extraordinary figure a thing with a man's body and an animal's head a dark shaggy head with pointed ears as i stared it bent down lapped the water and raising its head uttered the same harrowing sound the same harrowing sound i had heard before i then saw that its hands were becoming long furry paws armed with sharp claw-like talons i screamed and the creature swung around and with a snarl of rage rushed savagely at me i shrieked again as the thing sprang its jaws wide its eyes red with rage i struck at it wildly as it closed on me and and gripping me tightly round the body with its sinewy arms it hurled me to the ground my head hit a stone and i passed out when i awoke i was surprised to find nero sitting on a rock watching me while beside him was cranz's blood-stained body nero explained convinced cranz would harm you i determined to set out in pursuit by a miracle the effect of my accident suddenly wore off and i felt absolutely well i borrowed a horse and reaching the inn where you passed the night i learned the route you had taken and i pressed on the ground being moist in places i had no difficulty in following hearing the howl of some wild animal i arrived just in time to find a werewolf about to devour you a bullet from my rifle killed it and a close inspection proved it was none other than our friend with the evil eye krantz 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 a, a werewolf yes krantz he took you here because he had made up his mind to drink the water of the enchanted stream and so become a werewolf his object in doing so was to destroy a young farmer who had stolen away his sweetheart however he is dead now but a warning to you to trust no one who has the evil eye o'donnell concludes belief in the evil eye is universal i have followed the careers of several people who had this this terrible ability and their histories a being of sin or sorrow often both but the werewolf doesn't always have the evil eye sometimes it has long straight eyebrows which meet in a line over the nose sometimes the third finger of each hand is the longest finger with fingernails which can be which can be red almond shaped and curved sometimes they have ears set rather low and far back on their heads and sometimes they have the long swinging stride the long swinging gait of an animal most of these features are present in hereditary werewolves 
and are frequently developed by those people who become werewolves, who choose to become werewolves. So, dear listeners, why not take a good look in the mirror, in in the bathroom mirror? Do any of these characteristics describe you? I think I'll take a look. Just a minute, just a moment. Oh. Oh, no. 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 No, it can't. No. How? If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. My name is Warren, and I write and tell original ghost stories and original horror stories featuring such cryptids as the Night Floaters, Werewolves, and the Black-Eyed Children. So again, please consider subscribing. Please help me to reach my goal of 2,500 subs. Till midnight... Cheers. Text for today's story, courtesy of Project Gutenberg, while the pictures used in this video are courtesy of Pix Here, that's PX Here, while the music was the classic Ghost Processional by that patron of the internet, Kevin McLeod. Thank you for listening.